This is a case of a 21-year-old male laborer who presented to the Center for Hip Preservation and my clinic for treatment of symptomatic left hip pain. As we can see from this uh, AP image, the patient is skeletally mature, uh, but when we look very closely at the, his left hip, we see that the cartilage pre is preserved, but we see what is called a crossover sign where the anterior and the posterior walls cross over on a good quality anterior pe posterior pelvic radiograph. This case is, is not able to be treated through an, an arthroscope given the global or true acetabular retroversion where the entire socket is globally retroverted. Uh, and this procedure would be uh, not able to be accomplished just by simple rim trimming of the cranial aspect of the socket uh, through an arthroscope, given that this would cause insufficiency or a lower volume socket that might cause secondary or iatrogenic instability of the hip. Therefore, my procedure of choice to address this patient's complex deformity is what's called an antiverting or reverse PAO where we take the shape of the socket and create more effective antiversion uh, of the socket to thereby uh, eliminate the crossover in a global fashion and dramatically increase the patient's range of motion. As we see here in the preoperative film where the crossover is demonstrated in the latest postoperative imaging, uh, there has been elimination of that crossover sign and fixation uh, through the periacetabular osteotomy. This offers a powerful method for treating the impingement within the hip and then also affording more normal biomechanics given the antiverted socket at this time. The patient was able to return to his occupation as a heavy manual laborer and has had great functional as well as improvements in his pain.